Hi everyone. Today I wanted to share a card that I'm making with some of my celebration products. Um, celebration ends today, actually, so it's kind of late for me to make this video, but it was such a wow for me to see that you can do this that I wanted to show you. Um, I had been using this beautiful springtime foil designer series paper um, on a lot of thank you cards from my customers this past few weeks. and. Um, you know, using up this beautiful celebration ribbon and the celebration embossing folder. And um, I just really loved coloring this paper. And then I've been noticing people on the internet who were coloring it, but also coloring the background. And I thought, wow, you know, it was fun coloring it, but to color that whole background is just, I don't know, a little time consuming. And I made a comment about that, about how, oh, I just love how you took the time to color the background. And the person said, oh, no, you don't have to color the background. You can just sponge it. And I thought, well, yeah, but then, you know, this beautiful pink is not going to be pink. It's going to be some kind of weird pink with blue or the yellow, you know. And they said, no, no, no. If you use the alcohol markers to color in the flowers, you just have to sponge over it. And the sponge, if you use your classic ink, doesn't stick to the blends ink. And I thought, no way. So anyway, I did it and it doesn't, it doesn't stick to the blends ink. So you just take a sponge and you just go over it and all my background is colored in. And look how pretty it is when you color in the background too. I mean, it's pretty without the colored background, but that's just such a wow to color in that background with a swipe of a sponge that I thought I would show it. So I'm gonna color in this little piece here and make that card. And I'm gonna color with my blends and I will speed it up because you've probably seen lots of coloring with blends. And I really wanted to show you the spongy part. So uh, I'm gonna speed up the blends coloring. I'm using Calypso um, Coral and Old Olive blends. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna use a sponge and pool party ink, like that. So let's color really quickly. Because this is glossy paper, um, this works. So this is a different than regular cardstock. It has a gloss over the entire thing and then this foil added on top of that. So your alcohol inks aren't going to stick to that foil. So you can color like straight over that gold. It's just really fun. And it doesn't sit the same as it does on regular paper. The ink kind of sits on top a little bit longer. So I'm going to color this whole flower. You don't get quite the same blending as you do on a regular um, cardstock. But you can still get some fun little highlights. Okay, there it is, lovely as it is, um, and it is, it's really pretty. I've made so many thank you cards with this for customers, and I wish I had known that I could go over it with a sponge. I mean, it's beautiful. But, okay, so here's the sponge, and we're gonna just go over it with the pool party ink. Now, it's a good idea to have a tissue next to you. And now you're gonna just, um, ink up your sponge and um, just go over it. And I was so nervous the first time because, you know, it takes a while to color. But look. That's just to get any little excess that's sitting on the top. My thumbs were so blue yesterday from doing this. <laughs> anyway, isn't that pretty with the pool party background? Lovely. So then to put the card together, I used a stamp set from the annual catalog called Label Me Pretty. I think this little set has been getting overlooked a little bit because it's really a nice set and I don't see too much with it. And if you buy it with a bundle, you get this really fun punch um, and you get the two together, you get 10% off. So you can punch out uh, this little bracket piece, which I did, and I made that in Calypso Coral, and then you have a couple different little fillings that you can put in there. And uh, thank you for caring, and you're the best. So I've made a few of each, and 
I'm going to do another You're the Best. Now you could stamp that just directly inside your um, little label image, but I decided it'd be fun to stamp it and then punch it out with a circle punch. And then I just popped it up oops, and put it right there in the middle. And then this little piece here is Calypso Coral. Oops, I got blue on it. There we go. <laughs> and I've embossed it with the new basket weave embossing folder, which was also a celebration item. However, this is going to be in the next annual catalog, which comes out in June. Now, I would suggest buying the Label Me Pretty with the Pretty Label Punch as a bundle before the new catalog comes out, because when the new catalog comes out, um, we're not sure if these are going to be in the new catalog, but if they are, bundles are never bundled in the second year that they're out. So then they would be separate purchases and you wouldn't get that 10% discount. Okay, so to finish off this card, I made a base of Calypso Coral. Uh, this is cut, I think it's three and a half. Yeah. And then I intentionally made it so there'd be an overlap so that I could run a little bit of adhesive down the side. Because I want to go, I want to stick this piece and this piece together and have them equal five and a quarter across. There we go. And that way I can run ribbon around it. So the ribbon in the Celebration Catalog is this really beautiful shimmer. And there are some really lovely Calypso Coral ribbons to choose from if you don't have that one, like this ombre or this thin. Uh, ribbon. So the blends are on back order, Stampin' Up Blends markers, which is a bummer. They've just been so popular because they are, they truly are a great uh, marker, so I know that's why they're on back order. People have been buying them up, um, so they're 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 on back order for a while. I believe it's May, so you're gonna have to hang on to waiting for that. Um, but if you would like, and if you place an order through me, I have a frequent buyer rewards program, and I always send a little something. And um, I, if you want, let me know if you want some of the springtime foil designer series paper because it was a limited time release. It is lovely and I stocked up on it. <laughs> so you can get some if you really wanted it. Just let me know and I will add that to your little thank you note um, in the mail. I like to use the little strips on the side of my um, dimensionals, I bet we all do. And I like to make a little spot for the ribbon. So I kind of do that. So there it is. There's my little card. I'm going to fix that bow so it's on top. There we go. It doesn't want to be. I'm going to have to use a glue dot or something to get it up there. <laughs> Alright, so there's my card. I hope you like it. I hope you think that this sponging on top of that glossy paper and on top of the blends is really fun because even though you don't have the springtime foil designer series paper, we do sell glossy cardstock. So maybe do um, your own embossed images and color them in with the blends and then go over the background with a sponge. So even though you don't have the springtime foil paper, you can get it either through making a purchase and telling me you want a little bit and I'll give you some or um, use the glossy cardstock and see what you can come up with because that is a really fun wow technique and it looks beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.